Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2020 content where today we're going to be taking a intercity liveried cross-country HST <clears throat> from uh, Carstairs to Glasgow Central. I was supposed to be doing another Class 90 uh, today but I thought the past three videos have all been Class 90 orientated so we're going to uh, change things up and take a nighttime HST. It's a scenario I did in my own time. Failed, bizarrely, even though I called it every single station. And it said scenario incomplete, so that was a bit weird, but there we are. But, um, yeah, that was a that was a funny one. Doesn't make sense to me, but then again, not a lot of things do. And before we, uh, we carry on, I'd just like to give out a couple of mentions to Andrew Smith and Jeff Thomas for uh, their kind donations. That really is uh, greatly appreciated. I am very, very much grateful for, for you doing that. Uh, if, like them, you'd like to help support the channel, uh, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds go immediately back into the channel to help better the content, not only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline and will ultimately go towards bettering my uh, trains at videos uh, because it will allow me to go um, a little bit further around the country as well and get a lot of your request stations done. Uh, in regards to this, if you have any route recommendations or trains you'd like to see me drive, then please do let me know and uh, I shall see what I can do for you. This scenario is uh, it, it's quite a good one. It is a nighttime one, but uh, it's surprising how much you can see. Okay, right. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Right, I'll go away with you. Right, after loading passengers at cast airs, we will head to Motherwell. However, you should expect uh, you should expect the unexpected. Having just come off the Edinburgh line, we need to wait for the clearance onto the West Coast Main Line. So, what we need to do is open the doors. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. There we go. Right. So, all one needs to do is do, 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 do. There we go. Right, if we nip to the back. There we go. Lovely job. So, we have, if I do, if I zoom, that doesn't actually help me. Right, next stop is Motherwell. Wait to clear it's on the down main. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to hop out, do a bit of a free roam. 43 triple one is at the back. At the front is 43078, and uh, we're just going to be waiting for uh, an 87 to, uh, to come down. Right, that's fine, that's fine. There she goes. Okay, so everything else is all fine and dandy. Acknowledge that. Uh, everything else is fine. So we're going to turn the cab lights off because we're not going to need them for uh, when we do eventually depart. Okay, so we've got the clearance. Release the brakes.
and we shall just disappear into the night. Okay, so we'll just notch that down just so we can try and maintain our speed. Notch it to off. Some people have said to me that I, I can actually get rid of like the of all these various bits, but um, I'm going to keep them up there because it gives you guys a, a chance to actually see what I'm doing, which I, I think is better because it, it gives you guys a chance to be more inclusive, so you you can get a feel and understanding of how I'm going about all this. So all of the information on the HUD uh, I will be keeping up here. Let's hop us off for a bit. Do a cheeky bit of window hanging. We'll go this side and uh, keep a look up. Hopefully it's not going to do it is going to keep doing that. Okay. It's getting a little bit wobbly. Nice and peaceful inside the cab. Another HST. That is travelling the full length of the West Coast Main Line. ever so windy this particular section okay there's the 100 limits so once the rear power car passes we'll uh, notch up Rev the nuts off the girl.
Okay, so we're approaching Car Luke. And so we've got 47. Very well lit car, Luke. Motherwell Signaling Center has informed that overrunning engineering works have closed some key junctions. Point replacement work at uh, wherever that is, uh, <laughs> junction means that we will be diverted by a wheelshaw. Excellent. Right. Well, in which case then, we have to hop into Le Cap and uh, do some braking. I'm actually convinced that the um, first time I did this scenario, I spent so long reading that uh, little message that I didn't cancel the AWS in enough time and the train actually did come to an emergency stop. In fact, I'm, I'm dead certain that's, uh, that is what happened. We're due into Motherwell on time with uh, five and a bit miles to go. We're slowing down sufficiently, so we should be at 50 miles an hour before we uh, we get there. There's a chap doing his uh, do, doing his work. Carry on, my good man. Another eighty-seven, a pair of eighty-sevens. A nice brief chance to uh, get some revving done there before we have to start slowing down again. How do you pronounce this? Is it Y Shore or We Shore? Or Wisher? Could be pronounced Wisher.
just on the off chance anybody wants to stand a little bit too close to the edge. So many variety and speed changes during this, it's absolutely manic. Board focus. Then you've got a shield mirror coming up that we're going to be passing through. At this point, I'm not going to, I'm just going to keep uh, just riding the brakes. There's no sense in me trying to accelerate up to uh, 35 when I've got the 30 coming up, and then we've got the 105. And I suspect after the 105, you've probably got like half a mile's worth of running before we have to start slowing down for something else incredibly daft. On to number Nice and gentle. Okay, well we're coming up to uh, Motherwell. After this, there'll be about two scenarios done the West Coast Mainline North Route uh, freight orientated. Then we're going to nip over to the East Coast Mainline for a while.
plenty of people waiting here. Okay, here we are at Motherwell, nice and early. Plenty of people on board, plenty of people getting off. Bloke walking into a uh, lamppost. <clears throat> he goes, why not? All doors should be open. And we've got the power car at the back, just... Uh, idling quite nicely. The intercity livery has always been a favourite of mine. You don't need a livery that is all singing and dancing for it to be effective. The intercity livery just is brilliant. It's simple but really effective and it suits absolutely everything. It suits the HSTs, the 86s, the 87s, the 90s. It bizarrely suits the Class 50. Wouldn't mind seeing a Pendolino done in the Intercity Delivery. That would be, uh, that'd be quite cool. Just sit in car. Okay, with Anderson Junction closed, we will need to take uh, quite a detour in order to get into Central. Watch the speed limits, but try to make up time where you can. Okay. Wait for it. Twang. So we're going to go past Motherwell TMD, and then at the same time we're going to be passing Copebridge. Then we've got the uh, mail train coming down. And then back over to this side, we've got a couple of 47s, or a trio of 47s. There's a large logo, one at the back, then two rail freight livery ones, 47296 and 47234. Then this is the train that passed us earlier.
you know, passing through one of the rail freight terminals. So if we look over here, we've got some 87s, some 47s, some 37s. Plenty of rolling stock around here. Little containers. Then we're going to, coming up to yes, another junction change. There's a 47. Trailing a uh, empty load of container flats. So I'll hold back in the cab because we've got a 15 limit coming up. Just knock that down. Oh, just release that and we'll uh, coast for the moment. Slow down a bit more than I uh, first thought I was going to. And that's exactly what happened to me because I was looking at something else once again. That's the problem. Right. Release that. There we go. And that's one way to effectively knacker an engine is you rev the nuts off the thing and then you shut it off again. It's effective. Really slow.
Then we're coming up to the barnstorming speeds of 40 miles an hour. I mean, how how they expect us to uh, do these hair raising speeds is beyond me, but there we go. Under footbridge. Okay, let's go to notch three. So after we hit 55, we've then got a 30 m coming up, so it's not worth my time uh, giving it what for. And we'll just coaster. Hello, who have we got here? It's another 47. Large Loco 47 with a local train. Nice. Yes, sit back outside. Ooh, we're going downhill and we're gaining speed. Best to have a communication with the brakes then. I said you mind awfully. And they're going to go sort me, sir. You are here to do your bidding. I don't know. Too bloody right you are. And release. And we'll just uh, coast on down. Bang. Do it notch one, so we got just a wee bit of how there going off. The speed limits along this section of the line are just absolutely ridiculous. They really are. Okay, we might actually be able to uh, rock up some speed going along here. Now that was cool. And two for now got coming down here. It's like it's a pair of thirty sevens on the coal train.
Yeah, we then got a 55 coming up in just over a mile. Okay, who else have we now got coming up? So, Royal Freight 47. Okay, so we've got a 70 coming up, so, uh, well, there's not much I can do at this point. It's 75, then dips to a 70, so really, you may as well have not bothered. You may as well just keep it at, uh, 55, and then wait till you get to the 70. Because look, you've got a 75, dips to a 70, back up to a 75. But I've got to start slowing down, because the signals are once again not in my favour. Okay.
Blue Disco Bay, we've got a million different speed limits coming all over the show. We've got another 87 coming down. No, it was a 47. Large logo again. So we've run through uh, Rutherglen West Junction down slow over a minute late. And now crossing over as we go past Paul Mardi Depot. So we've got an intercity livery to class 87 waiting. That, so what are we working with here? In fact, we've got a whole rake sat there, both uh, <clears throat> full West Coast uh, rakes. Then we've got uh, some more stocks sat there, another 87 at the ready. And then we've got to switch that down once more. So all I'm doing at this stage of proceedings is I'm just ruining the uh, the engines in these things. Okay, so it is now just a, uh, a case of slowly work our way into Glasgow Central. We have a mile and, th uh, well, 1.3 miles to go. And we're due in early. So much crisscrossing. <laughs> Couple of 87s waiting outside Glasgow. That was uh, always a familiar sight. 
So before the use of uh, DVTs, the loco would lead the train in, and then there'd be another loco sat outside Glasgow, attach itself to the rear of the train, which would then act as the front, run it back down to, uh, to London, and so on and so forth. Watch, be wary that I believe it's this signal gantry, the 15 mile an hour limit becomes uh, into force. Problem is, I can't see. There it is. Could be, it could be better lit, I must say. <laughs> Right, what have we got on uh, on this side? It's like a little mixed bag. It'll be a West Coast service heading back down. Slightly bizarre if running that uh, this late at night, but there we are. There's an intercity delivery 47 that brought this train in initially. And after all that, we actually ended up coming into Glasgow late. Then you've got uh, BR Large Logo 47138. That for things has, uh, has only just turned up. And there we go, into Glasgow Central. Scenario that took us all over the place. Victorious. And I trust we've got all the room in the world up here. Plenty. So uh, there we go. An action packed Glasgow Central. Let's see if we can ascertain the number of this 47. 47049 Well done, we made pretty good time considering the problems on the line tonight. Excellent. Scenario incomplete. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't know. So, I used the horn improperly 27 times. I sped four times. Jolly good. So, sticking with the uh, the northern section of the West Coast Main Line, um, I'll tell you what, we'll do one more scenario on there, and then we'll head over to the East Coast for a bit just to change the scenery. Uh, we're going to be taking... We're not going to take a 90, actually. We're going to do something different. We'll have a break from 90s. We're going to go into the career section, and we're going to take a 92 on a nice run to uh, to Moss End from somewhere. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So uh, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.